Hello, hello, we are live. Good evening, everybody. So if you are watching live, you know that we are going to have a guest speaker who you've met before. You know that Marshawn is one of our speakers who recently talked about relationship, especially how to deal with the relationship in situations such as the COVID-19 <coughs> that we are going through. But today is different. We are in the circle. Today we are talking about how to unleash our confidence as when we are in a circle. So you have met her before. She's a mother. She's a wife. She's a coach. She coaches women who are working in their personal lives, marital lives, marriage relationship. That's what she does. She's a strategic planner who helps you be better in your relationship as husband and wife. So we are coming in live this evening. But before I do that, for those of you who do not know who I am, hi, I'm Nadej. I'm your personal development coach. I'm your confidence coach. I help women build self-confidence and cultivate curiosity so they can be able to lead themselves, their business as well, and be able to pivot mentally without, without, you know, being rattled by life demands and work commands. Why I stress on that? Because every day I come in, I always tailor it for you to understand what I do. It's just so you can understand how important it is for you to know how to pivot your mental state around life and work demands and commands. So Marshawn is here live with us. How are you? I am excellent, Nadej. How are you? I'm, I'm doing excellent. This is a beautiful day to be here to talk about this topic, um, getting our circles together. So thank you for welcoming me in and thank you everybody for watching it now, whether you're live or if you're coming on the replay. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, yes. It is. I mean, I was really delighted, you know, when you accepted, you know, for us to have this live just so we can talk about how about how important having a circle is being able mm -hmm. to have a system where you know the people that you are around with and the job that they have when they are around us. We do things, you know, in all, so much, whether it is business or family oriented, we are expecting a support at times. We do expect that support system. It's like, you know, the, the, the cane that we lean on, you know, mm -hmm. just so to support mm -hmm. us. And we think of a circle as that. So before we go further, I need you to really help us swim into the deep ocean to understand what is a circle and why we need to have a circle in our lives. What is a circle? A circle is your group of people, your group of friends, the people that become your family the people that you lean on, the people that um, you, you can actually go to and talk to them about any and everything. They are not judging you. They are basically um, your cheerleaders. They become your cheerleaders as well as you also um, reciprocating all of the things that I'm mentioning. You are being that person that they can um, come to and lean on. And again, you're being uh, they're being the person for you that you can go to and lean on for them as well. Um, the, your circle is usually a group of people that are like-minded like yourself. Mm -hmm. You're usually headed, headed in the same direction. Um, at least uh, whatever your goals are, even if it's not the exact same goal, you guys have goals. You mm -hmm. discuss what the goals are. You discuss what you're working on next to hit the main goal. So mm -hmm. in order to get to the main goal, you have to go for the incremental smaller goals first. So you're speaking about how to reach and attain the smaller goals in order to get to the larger goals. Um, mm -hmm. Literally, those are the people that help you to grow. To see, to see your blind spots, 
the blind mm-hmm. areas. What and it could also be in your love life, in your relationship. But this could be, and when you're trying to attain a goal or your aspirations, your dreams. Sometimes when you're speaking to someone out loud, number one, you may be able to answer the question yourself because now something has popped up with mm-hmm. verbally speaking about it, or that person that you're venting to that you're sharing this information with can say you know what this is what you need to do this is what i did or i have somebody that you can talk to so i have a contact that you can talk to and they Mm -hmm. can lead you down the right direction so your circle is helping you grow Mm -hmm. your circle Mm -hmm. is your 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 family they become your family they become Mm. your support system they become the people that you lean on and even lean into in good times and bad Mm, I love that, that. That's your circle. That's oh my circle. goodness. That is, ooh, I love how you define it. I don't even have to ask question number one because, <laughs> <laughs> because you just did look, you broke it down. You broke it down. I love that. And, you know, I love how you explain that your circle becomes your family. Mm-hmm. They do. Wow. And a lot of time we don't think it that way. We usually think, oh, you know, our circles is a group of friends. We hang out, we chill, we have a good time, but never really look at that circle as that prospects, the group of people who are supposed to help you be better and push you up. Yes, yes. Wow, I love that. Well, you know what? A lot of people don't look at it as that because they're not necessarily... um, structure to think about it in that manner we're just Mm -hmm. thinking that like you said these are my friends that i get together with we laugh and joke we discuss men we discuss our woes but the people who are looking to move to the next level which is Mm -hmm. the group of women here right Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, Mm -hmm. female coaches where we are um you slay with confidence, right? So these are the people that are actually in this group we are looking and and trying to cultivate friendships and your circle that can become your family, that can travel with you, that can, um, even you guys can raise your children together. If you happen to have children, you can build upon your relationships and marriages together. Everything Mm -hmm. becomes um, stronger and has that strength to it if you go into it in a certain way. And so I think I told you guys last time, my word of this year is intentional. I'm intentional mm-hmm. about everything. I'm intentional about the friendships and the people that I keep around me, i.e. my circle. I'm very intentional about everybody. And 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 that's the, the strategy part because I'm in the process right now where I'm looking for lifelong friendships. That's what my circle is becoming right now, right. lifelong friendships. And so um, I'm also in the in the mindset of building a business, right? And then I have a young daughter and I am married. So, and my marriage is young. So I'm looking for all of these pieces of the puzzle to help mm-hmm. me to go to and grow through the next stage and the next level in my life in every area of my life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I really love, I mean, I really like how you broke it. I mean, you, how you explained it because a lot of times us women, we think, of you know circle is defined as the same people we see over and over and not really see it as the group of pers like a group of people who can or persons who can really connect with you and mm-hmm. the mindset that you are developing especially if you are moving out from the old self Mm-hmm. to moving mm-hmm. into the new you, to the new mm-hmm. self. So you have to be able to have a group, a circle, who, where people are willing to understand you and willing to tell you and guide you. Because a lot of times we do need guidance. And I know I do teach a lot about leaving behind the misconceptions and the limiting beliefs and I do talk about the generational curses. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I also know that while we are telling everybody, uh, stop yourself from you know telling yourself everybody else is judging you, allow yourself to also open up to the positive criticism because sometimes they help. And the best group to give you that 
support and that positive criticism is always from that circle, yes. the circle of people who understand yes. you the best. Mm -hmm. It's not always your family members. That's right. That's right. It's not That's always your best friend. That. <laughs> repeat that. <Yes. laughs> yeah. <Seriously. laughs> it's not. It's not always the people that you cling into on an everyday basis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is those people that you, when you connected with them, you relate immediately because there's a story in each other's lives that really connect and related and made you feel like, oh my God, where have you been all my life? <laughs> you know? Yes, it's just easy. The flow of the conversation, the feeling mm -hmm. is easy. The trust is immediately there. Mm -hmm. We're sharing like our kindred souls are speaking to one another. Oh, I understand yeah. you. You understand me. We flow well. We mix well. Let's build together. Let's, yes. you know, create a family together. And obviously not a romantic one, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> like, let's, let's do this. Let's yeah, do this because like you said, you don't know everything, right? You're not going to know everything. You're going to need the circle of people that surround you to help you again to move to the next level because there's that old saying, which is you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. And so when you don't know what you don't know, you're going to stay stagnant. You and, get stuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get stuck, but you don't realize that you're stuck. You're not realizing why you're not moving to the next level or why you can't figure out how to actually attain the goal is again you're stuck you're staying right here mm -hmm. you need to move with mm -hmm. the flow but get your circle mm -hmm. of people mm -hmm. around you that's going to help you as well as you are able to help them and mm -hmm. when i say help it does not mean that you're going to get it in the same capacity yes how they help how they help you is might it might not be the way that you help him or her Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I really like, oh, I love what you just said. Because I used to always think a lot of time when you build a relationship, you connect with someone, the expectations that you have is that, you know, because I did for you, you have to do for me thing. You know, it's like what we call in a corporate world, the quid quo quo yeah, yeah, kinda. Yeah, yeah. you know you do for me and i do for you but the real thing about building a circle that is supportive of you is that it's not about what i do for you because you did for me that's right it's more about let's do it together yeah. i'm gonna help you get to that destination because mm -hmm. i see how much you really need it it may not work for me but i know it will work for you mm -hmm. so let's work on it together and that's the, what the circle is about oh my goodness i'm so glad that you brought that up Dad, <laughs> because here's the thing when you're helping someone and especially when they're in your circle you guys should not be keeping tabs like i'm mm -hmm. helping you so now you gotta help me what if you could, what if they can never help you, but you can pour into them, bless them, help them get to the next level. That's also going to help you um, feel so much blessed, uh, mm -hmm. feel, feel blessed, feel happy, feel like, okay, they succeed. If you succeed, we succeed. Yes. And may, maybe the time that they pour into you and help you comes years later. Yeah. Maybe it comes years later. But that's okay because, again, this is your circle. This is your trust area. This is where you can build your confidence. This is where you can get, get to the next level. Mm -hmm. And so all of that is very important to not keep score, not do, mm -hmm. I'm going to do this only if you do that. Mm -hmm. that's, not what it's, that's not what it's about at all. And it's better to give to, than to receive. It's better mm -hmm. to give than to receive. You feel so happy. You feel just um, elated to mm -hmm. be able to share with someone else and just be able to pour into them to help them get to somewhere that maybe they couldn't have gotten there on their own. Oh my God. I just feel like there's that blessing pouring on me right now. It's, it's, it's pouring on you. Right? It's, pouring. <laughs> it's pouring. Come on, let it pour on us, everybody. Because it's, I mean, hearing you talk about that, it, it helps me and I'm pretty sure it's helping everybody understand it better. Yeah. Because we all have areas of expertise. Mm -hmm. We have areas that we are good at. So why are we keeping score when we yes. are helping each other? Yes. You know, my areas of expertise may be totally different from yours. Mm -hmm. But 
we do things together and helping each other grow. And what the point that you made is that my blessing may not be now, but it will be at one point in life. Mm -hmm. So there's no rush, right? No rush. It's no just rush. be patient and do the work that you your and serve your purpose. Not just do the work, but better serve your purpose because we have a purpose in life that we want to serve because the purpose is to help somebody else be at their Absolutely. best. And that's Absolutely. the main thing is to be able to help somebody build confidence, somebody build, you know, that relationship that they have, because you are, that's what you do. You talk and you help people build their relationship, yeah. understand yeah. how they need to work on their personal selves before they get into their marital relation, you know, yes. um, relation yes. that they have, because for you to understand your partner, you have to understand yourself first. Oh. And in a circle, you know, sometimes you may need to understand yourself because there are things that you'll be saying in your circle. Not everybody going to understand it the same way. Absolutely. I mean, I've gone and I experienced it in my circle, you know, my circles that I had. And I, in my personal development, I realized that there were a lot of things that I used to say or I used to do mm -hmm. that did not meet the circle that I was in because not everybody was seeing or had the same vision or understand me. Yes, 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 yes. And yes, right yes. to them, they called, oh, you are rude. Or sometimes they called me, you are always bossy. You are telling people what to do. For me, I was seeing it more like, but I'm helping you get better, <laughs> not bossing you. <laughs> so we have to understand who we are. And that's one thing we say all the time, being able to understand who we are so we can build and help other people in our circle understand mm -hmm. us too. That's right. Right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's wow. right. I really and love then, it. And then also before we move forward, I feel like I need to say that when you receive your blessing, which you will, especially if you're going in and you're going with the mindset that I'm just going to help mm -hmm. your blessing usually does not come from the same person that you blessed. Mm -hmm. It usually comes from someone else. And again, it might not come at the time that you gave, you know, you the expect gift. it. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But but it's definitely going to come. It's definitely going to come. Uh patience for sure. And you're again just to reiterate, you're not doing it to receive, but you will receive by doing it. Yes. <laughs> Yes. You know, in our, um, I looked at coaches into, I don't know, maybe you may have that same thought, but us coaches or educate like mentors, educators, people who are okay. helping other people grow any field that we are helping others, there's something that connects us with, you know, being an angel, you know, in disguise, being that person that God is putting in everybody else's path yeah. just so they can see the light, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and be able to walk on a path that is, you know, lit and filled with joy and happiness because what we are bringing to them is that touch they never had in their mm -hmm. lives before, mm -hmm. you know, and in a circle, that's what we do. We help other people and we listen. It's that, that ears that we provide. I, I always say my listening ears are there. And a circle is that, in a way it's an expectation to, because you want to be able to be heard. Yes, yes. And yes, you yes. also want to be able to provide your ears for those people who are hearing you too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Right. Uh, oh, absolutely. Oh, um, uh, you know what? Just, just as a, just as a side note, I, um, I remember one of my girlfriends, and I, I remember how I always used to feel very irritated with her. And after some reflection on why I was feeling irritated and kind of always on edge, I noticed that I never felt heard with her. She always cut me off, tried to finish my sentences, or um, had already done the thing that I was explaining that I was doing or about to do 
she had always she had already experienced everything. But it wasn't so much that she experienced everything. It was the matter of I never got a complete sentence out while speaking to her. And eventually I did pull her to the side and, and, and speak to her about it. But it was just like, I'm so annoyed with you. And that annoyance turned into not really feeling connected to her as well. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know who I am because I can't finish a sentence with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and every story that I have, you've already experienced everything. So if and when you come off like that, there's nothing that I could teach you. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I can teach you because you know everything. So there is no room for me to be in your life because you know everything. You've experienced everything and you have an answer for everything. So you yes. don't need any help. My goodness. And I'm so happy that you shared that because um, I'm pretty sure this is, it may be a situation that somebody else, whether in the group or outside of the group, is going through. You know, mm -hmm. having someone that you count on, that person you call that my support system, my my partner, you know, the person everywhere you go, people always see you together and they, you know, they're like, you two are twins, are you sisters? <laughs> you know, it's always that. But at the end of the day, you feel like you are not connected because you're not heard the way you would want to be heard. Um, recently, I was doing a coaching um, session and it's a similar story to what you just said, how that person and her good friend, they are working together actually, but she always felt that she never really expressed herself, you know, mm -hmm. to explore the side of what she does because she's also a coach. Okay. And her friend is a coach, but her husband is also a coach, but it's just that <laughs> she felt like when she was around her friend, although they have that business they were working in together, she never felt heard the way she wanted to. And what we want everybody to understand is that a circle is what we also call the accountability group. For sure. For sure. It's called the support system. We have different names for it. Mm -hmm you know, and maybe we may have to teach the people we want to be that, uh, you know, partner, that accountability partner or support system. We have to teach them how to go along the way and understand the, str the strategic plans mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. have just so that circle not it does not go down, but it's, instead it expands yeah. And it flourishes just so other people can come into the circle and learn from what we experienced. And that's what a, the beauty of a circle is about. Because as we build accountability, as we become that support system, there are things we are not only learning about each other, but we are able to support by giving advices, by mm -hmm. giving you know new ideas. I think, I mean, I, I'm, I have not experienced it before, but I know someone who have. Would you like to connect with that person? It's that touch, you know, in that simple phrase or that sentence that you shared with someone just so the person can say, oh, yes, you know what? Please connect me with that person. Right? Which, which, which is the hurt piece. Yes. You don't, you don't know about it. You never experienced, but she heard me. She's uh -huh. connecting me with somebody else. Still uh -huh. feel heard. Still feel understood, at least to a certain degree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. I don't think I even need to ask question number one because we just covered it. <laughs> now we're moving definitely to question number two. Okay. So, <laughs> so for those of you who probably wondering what question number one was, it was, how do you define having a circle of friends? Mm -hmm. And everything that Marshawn, Marsh, I'm sorry with my it's beautiful okay. French okay. accent, <laughs> Marshawn did explain, you know, why it is important, why we must have a circle, what's behind having a circle, where it leads you to. And that's the definition to it. A circle is that support system. It's the group that you are around with that helps you 
you know, build yourself and be at your better place, you know, but there are circles that you are in that may push you down and make you feel like you are not good at all. So it's they about too. choosing your circles. <laughs> Absolutely. All of us have a choice. Mm -hmm. And even when you think that you're not choosing, you've yeah. chosen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So question number two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it important to be in a circle when you are working on your personal development? Perfect. Perfect. Um, well, I already mentioned at least one of them, which is because you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. You cannot grow when you don't know the things that need to be done, the next steps that need to be taken or whom you need to contact, how you need to go about getting that thing done. Again, mm -hmm. you just stay stuck. So you don't know what you don't know. Another thing that I want to bring to the table is that you cannot move forward you cannot grow without being a person that has a growth mindset without being in a circle that also has a growth mindset if you're the person that has a fixed mindset then you 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 seem or tend to be the negative nancy the person that always sees what you cannot do what you don't have how you cannot get that thing done or start on it and so being in a circle that is all about growing constantly, that's all about personal development will totally um, push you and challenge you. And also again, become and be along with you, alongside with you as your cheerleader. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, you know what, you got this, mm -hmm. do, th do this thing. Listen, don't worry about the, 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 the staircase that you see up there, just get on the first step. Take mm -hmm. the first step. And that's where so many people get stuck is not even taking that first step. If you could take the first step and also have your fan club, your cheerleaders, your circle mm -hmm. behind mm -hmm. you saying, go, go, go. Then you're more apt to say, I can go. You know what? Let me if I, if I don't believe in me to do this, let me just listen to what he or she told me. Let me just do that one thing and see how mm -hmm. that pans out. And if you can do that each and every time that you get scared, then you still will. Um, push forward, you still will attain and reach the goals that you want to reach one day at a time, one footstep at a time, one step at a time. Mm -hmm. but you have to get started. You got to do it. So being in a group that's constantly growing, that's constantly um, reaching their goals, talking about their dreams, talking about their aspirations, and then you have all of these people that's not judging you, and they're like, go, go, go. You find a way to get that thing done. It's because you put it here and you may be speaking about it out loud. Maybe you decided to write a couple things down. As soon as you start, that path will unfold. Most people want to think that they're supposed to see the path before they get started. That's not the way that it works. Mm -hmm. It's not the way that it works. You have to start. And think about this. Maybe you wanted to start your business as a coach. Mm -hmm. And you were thinking, how in the heck am I going to get my first client? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how, how am I going to get my first client? And then you just started doing stuff. Maybe you started posting on social media. Maybe you just decided to reach out to your email list. Maybe you decided to just to reach out to your friends and family and say, hey, this is something I'm going to do. I want to try this out with you. Do you mind being my first client for free? Just so you can test the waters. See how you're actually... Um, being as a coach, some of the things that you could work on, talk about a survey with them, make them feel, you know, not make them, ask them to feel like a survey so you can get better. It all is about that first step. It's all mm -hmm. about talking to your cheerleaders, i.e. your circle. It's all about putting all of these things out there and then being able to be nervous, feel the fear, take the first step and keep going each and yeah. every time because you're not going to always know what to do. Your circle is not always going to know what to do. But the more that you do, the more you'll figure it out. The more mm -hmm. that you do, the more that you'll figure it out. And guess what? That path will start to open up. Mm -hmm. path will start to open up. And you'll start to be able to just walk down the path. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be able to teach somebody else later on, whether in your circle or if you turn it into a program and somebody paying for it, you'll mm -hmm. be able to help somebody else later on down the road. Mm, I love that. And I love, you know, it's it really sink into the personal development part 
because we all need to know our circles. I mean, for me, I believe that the circle starts within yourself because you yeah. need to know who you are. You need to know the things that you love and the things that you appreciate in life and how you can be present for everything that's happening around you. And then Absolutely. aside of that, that same circle that starts around you. And I love the choice of you using the fixed mindset versus the, you know, the growth mindset. And we talked about that on Monday. Monday, we talked oh, about perfect. the mindset and we talked about how the fixed mindset can bring you down to not fully meet your goals. Because when you have a fixed mindset, you may find yourself in that category of people who are telling you, oh, I don't think you're ready to be, you know, to launch a business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you are mingling with the people who are in the growth mindset, they probably will cheer and say, girl, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Let's, oh my, what is it that you want from me? How can I help mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. And that's a big difference. <laughs> big difference, you know? big difference yeah. on you staying stuck and moving forward. It's a big yes. difference in, on the people not killing your dream. Because yes. here's the thing: the people that are the people that are in the fixed mindset versus the growth mindset. The fixed mindset is going to say that you can't do it because they don't even believe that they can do it. So yes. they're putting their fears, they're putting their emotions, they're putting their um, things that's going to hold them back onto you. Mm -hmm. And what, if you don't have anybody else to talk to after you've talked to that person, then guess what? You're staying right there. It's You'll stuck. never get that thing done. Yeah, you're stuck. You'll never get that thing started and definitely won't hit the finish line because you haven't even started. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, wow. This is powerful. And women, if you are in watching the live right now, if you are, um, just remember, if you're watching the live, just remember to put hashtag live. And if you're watching the replay, also put hashtag replay. But what we want you to understand is, you know, right now we are at a point, we are very near at the end of the challenge. There is a seven day challenge that we had about building our self-confidence, not just building, but unleashing our self-confidence in seven days, because there were different things that we needed to point different key elements that we need to we needed to learn about and enter in our circles and today we are actually talking about the circles the same things that you do for yourself as one to one you are also going to need to do it when you are in a circle because you have to teach other people how to understand and connect with you just so you can work better and then you as well don't just think that oh the work is being done around you no the work is being done around each of us so yes, therefore yeah. you too you're supposed to give your support and you're supposed to be there as that part as being part of that circle the circle does not evolve around you so what we need you to understand is that don't see yourself as Oh, it's, I'm a diva. Yes, you are a diva. We talked about you being a diva. Hey, you are. But as you are being a diva, you are that diva who are, who's an entrepreneur. You are a diva who's a coach. You are a diva who's a stay-at-home mom. Each one of you in this group, that's why this group is niched toward women. Just so all of you understand at the end of the day, you need to be in a circle that's going to empower you, mm -hmm. a circle that's going to elevate you and help you make yourself be at a better place, but not just yourself. You need to do the job too. So you need to reverse it and help that other woman, that person, you know, who's standing at the corner crying with tears because she doesn't know what to do, fixed you know, for her to for her to know how to fix her mm -hmm. tilted crown. Mm -hmm. I talk about that all the time. Fix the tilted crown. So from there, we are moving to question number three. Okay. Can being in a circle help you? Can it bring you down? And how? Yes, I, I actually think that we covered most of it by just talking. But I, I will say 
yes, your circle can help you, but also your self circle can hurt you as well. It really just depends on the, the people, the mindsets uh, that are in your circle. Mm -hmm. And and here's the thing. You, you don't have to just eliminate or get rid of everybody that has a fixed mindset. You don't have to do that. You just have to be more aware. Mm hmm of how you're showing up when you're around them. And if they have a tendency to move the conversation toward negativity, then you as the person that does have the growth mindset at some point change the subject or say, you know what, I understand what you're saying, but still find a way to get out of the negative place that that person is in because each and every person that you're around, we all have a tendency to take on at least a little bit of their personality. And mm -hmm. if everybody in your circle is negative, Sis, you're negative too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Oh, so if everybody in circle is negative, then you're negative too. Um, yes. it, 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 again, just to reiterate, it can definitely stagnate your growth. <clears throat> Excuse me. It'll stagnate your growth and um, your will to even move forward. Your will to even do anything else. Mm. Your circle is really, really big um, when it comes to everything in your life because I'm in the mindset that you can have it all every right. aspect of your life uh, right. you just have to have the right people in your circle and if you don't have them right now again you do not have to just throw everybody away but you do want to start to weave your way mm -hmm. and find mm -hmm. the people that are going to help you stay in the growth mindset that's going to help challenge you and push you out of your comfort zone push you out of your box so yeah. you can get to the stage and the next level that you want to be at. If you're fine with where you're at, then make sure that you are reaching back to help somebody else in your circle, help somebody else that just, just needs help. Do it for free or do it for very low, but just help somebody. Help right, somebody. right, right. Oh, my God. So, hi, I think we have Casey. Hi, Casey. Thank you for hopping in. Hey, ladies. Very true. Your circle matters. You have to have people around you to help you when you fall and you will fall. Yes, definitely. You will fall. Yes. They all come to a time when you will fall. And she also wrote, you have to set boundaries. Says Absolutely. you're negative too. <laughs> we are laughing out loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, good. We need to understand where we are. Yes, reach back. That's very important. Being able to, you know, there are times when in everything we do, we don't really pay attention to our own behaviors. And our be behaviors can be the teacher to that helps somebody else. Yes. So what we do is the role model for somebody else. Somebody else is paying attention to every steps that we are making. So when Absolutely. we are doing something that is not the what what the world considers to be the norm, then we are seen, you know, in a different leash. We are seen differently. Oh, this there she goes. She's not even talking sure for herself, but yet, you know, and those things do happen. And what we want to do is being able to not let that, you know, really not just affect us, but go around it and help everybody understand why it's important because we all human. And because right. we are all human, there are things that we do and we don't even pay attention when we do it. And that's why in our circles, we need that person, you know, that su support system, that, 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 that person you can lean on to say, I noticed you did that, but did you think about it mm -hmm. when you were doing it? Or did yeah. you just go at it? I mean, I, I, I'm supporting you, but you know what? If I were you, I would do it differently. I mean, <laughs> that, that person that's going to snatch you back to reality. Yes. That person that's going to snatch you back to reality and say, listen, yes. sis, sis, <laughs> I, I see what you did there. And now that that moment is over, I need you to never do that again. Like, yes. that, that's not a good look. But whatever the verbiage is, you need that person that's going to say, no, mm -hmm. nope. Nope, mm -hmm. that wasn't right. No, you cannot go bust out car windows anymore. <laughs> no, you cannot put sugar in tank. No, you can't cuss out your boss. You can't cuss out everybody. Just, you cannot speak every line that yes. comes into your head. Every, every word that comes up here does not need to come out here. Like, no, no, yes. no, 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 no. 
You need we that need that sister. Oh my God, we need, need it. And when we say, uh, that's why I loved, you know, it was the topic that I actually chose to work on this summer because I wanted to launch my brunch and my brunch in, which is supposed to be a brunch and lunch in together. And then the coronavirus <laughs> came in, um, but it was the idea of having it. And it was about fixing that tilted hat. You know, the, the tilted crown that we all carry, you know, that, that sad face, the cry, the, you know, we have some, we think we are alone, but then again, we have to look at, you know, when it's tilted, maybe we may need somebody to help us fix it. Mm -hmm. And then once we understand the importance of fixing it, we can help somebody else fix theirs. And that's the concept of where fixing the tilted crown came for me. You know, it's helping boost the energy and that confidence that we need in ourselves to go forward. And when you have a person who can tell you, just like you said, Marshawn, hey, you know what? If I were you, I would not talk like that to my boss. It's your boss at the end of the day. That money, you need it until you have your own business. Yes. So <laughs> fix it, <laughs> you know? Get that together, Get sis. Get that together. <laughs> Get it? You know, we need it at times. Sometimes we we let um, not just ego, but we let that. Oh, don't don't talk to me like that. It's the the I'm too proud for you to talk to me like that attitude. Mm -hmm. Get in the way. But the reality is, sometimes we need that shake. You know, hey girl, stand up straight. Yeah, it's okay. You're not gonna get that from me all the time, but when I see you going and going on the side, let me get you back to normal because we have a business that we are working on. We have a plan in action. We have somewhere we need to go, you know? So therefore, I don't want you to fold back on your knees. Mm -hmm. I want you to get back, stand on your feet. So if I see you going and falling, I'm there to catch you. And that's what a circle is about. It's where you come in and you feel like somebody is there to catch you when you're about to fall. And in your circle, that's when you do the venting. That's when you get it all out. That's when you get to look a mess. That's when you get to uh, let your hair down and mm -hmm. be mean if you need to be mean, right? Because it's a safe place. It's not going anywhere. And then when the world sees you, the world gets to see the true you. Mm -hmm. at least to a certain degree because your people your circle truly know you they know mm -hmm. your struggles as well as they know your strengths mm -hmm. and so for the world the world usually just knows your strengths they don't mm -hmm. know your struggles right so and especially when we're building the business the coaching business we want to keep that persona that way right but you still need a group of people where you can just be ugly and then say, and let them smack you back into reality. <laughs> and then you can come up and let the world see the persona again. Yes. Casey, girl, you here. She said, yes, reach back. That's very important. We have to have someone who is the voice of reason to pull us back. Yes. Mm -hmm. And girl, she, listen, we've seen each other on our struggles. Like, our minds like losing it and then you know her i've seen her in her cry and her live videos and we know those moments and what it does for us <laughs> she's like yes your circle has to be a safe place but make sure it's a safe place oh yes. i love that you gotta and make sure my yes smiling <laughs> isn't your friend Ooh, girl you that's right you got that's it right they're not that is so true you have to know who's will, who's with you. I mean, if I'm seeing somebody happy, the first thing I do is I'm happy for them. I don't think that, oh, look, she made it. Why am I still holding back? Why am I still not there? I cannot think that way. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, nope. my abundance will not pour on me. Don't stop. <laughs> There's the hope, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and God has given us the, the that mindset. The, the the let's not use the word mindset. The knowledge, that intelligence to use it, 
and understand that we also need to be humble, humble as sisters, be humbled as sisters, just so when our sisters are having that celebration the day of which we'll be talking about tomorrow okay and we are in that lane of celebration because we reach our best that it's all of us celebrating yeah. i should not be in the corner and be like holding my like it shouldn't be me mm -hmm. no that is mm -hmm. not a it is not a support system it's nope. not a true friend and we need to understand all that is part of what builds us to be our best self. Yes, 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 yes. And, you know, and I do believe that women in the group, you need to understand when we talk about friends, when we talk about building a system, when we talk about having a, a, a support system and we talk about you building a, having a circle, building that circle, why it is so important and why do we stress on it? Guess what? If you are a businesswoman, any group, because I'm pretty sure this group is not the only group that you are in, that you joined, but any group that you joined in, you will hear about accountability, about support system, about mastermind. Why is that? Because there's something in it that help us grow together. Yeah, together. Not alone, but together. Because there's a place, the word itself, it takes us from a place where when we were alone, we did not know better. When we were alone, we did not know the way to. When we were alone, we did not have the light to shine on our path just so we can go ahead and make decisions in life. But when we got in the group, we were able to hear others' voices. We were able to hear others' opinion and decisions and understand how important it is just so we, now me, now you, can do it, you too. And that's how we have to think of it. Okay. Yeah. She also wrote, we must celebrate each other, yes. There is enough prosperity to go around. If you're Absolutely. winning, I'm winning. Yep. You may come into resources that I need and vice versa. Yes. Yes. I'm still Absolutely. trying to figure out certain things. And sometimes, <laughs> you know, having to connect with something and talk to someone about some, you know, something they did, it helps. Yes. Because at the end of the day, Carol, if you're not reaching out to that person, person who's already suffered and know the how to how are you going to grow yeah 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 you know gee where were we we were only on number five <laughs> <laughs> we're having too much fun around here i love it i love it <laughs> all right number four what are the key elements a woman needs to know about theirs about her circle Okay, I think that we covered a lot of them, <laughs> but yeah. just to just to reiterate the ones that I that stood out to me is I'm gonna say her beliefs, mm -hmm. and beliefs for me is two things. Beliefs for me is your belief in God or not, because God is an essential part of my life, and so I'm not not you if God is not a part of yours but you might get tired of me always mm -hmm. giving praises and respect and prayer and all that stuff to God so my belief is is really I need to know what your beliefs are and then also the belief that I can actually do it that you can actually do it going back to the mindset whether it's fixed or growth so those are the two beliefs that I'm really really focused on where are you at when when I bring those things up are you in the corner looking at me? Are you like that? There is no joining in, or you know, where I just you're looking at me like, yeah, yeah. Here we go again with that guy. Here we go again with I can do it. Oh, uh, I don't need none of that. <laughs> I need the opposite energy flowing my way um, mm. because I I got some big things going on and I need to be able to implement those things. And if you're not the person to help me get to the next level, then move out of my way. Yes, I'm going. Yes. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it with or without you next to me. And if you're not ready, boop, <laughs> I'm making room for others. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's the first thing. And then 
Um, another thing that we mentioned that I want to reiterate here is how are you helping that person and how is that person helping you? Because that that's something that uh, needs to be taken into account. If if, the, if that person is always a taker or you yourself is always just taking, mm. then you're not adding, you're not feeding the group, you're not helping the group. Um, mm. You're only keeping um, yourself fed, if you mm -hmm. will, which does not help the entire circle. It doesn't help the entire circle. It only helps you. Uh, and you're looked up as selfish. So you're looking to see how much you can help. But also, yes, you want your your your, your arms to be open for you to be able to receive the blessings just as much as you're giving them as well. And then the final thing is, is for you to determine if this person is only going to be um, a part of your circle as in like your business you just 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 you guys only thing you talk about is your business only thing you talk about is your goal your dream your aspirations is, is this person going to be just that or is this person going to be an integral part of your life where you also talk about your business dreams and aspirations but then they move into the personal aspect of who you are mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so those were are the top three things that I look for when I'm inviting someone into my inner circle, into my inner world. And then I just leave them at that. If you're only, if we're only going to talk about business, I'm fine with that. I'm fine mm -hmm. with that. And I, I can look for somebody else that's going to help feed me on an emotional side, on a family side. Also the person that I really will connect with and call my sister. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, I have to read this as well for us. Um, Casey wrote, I had to cut a person off for that same reason. I got to the point where she was tired of me talking about Jesus. Oh, well, bye. <laughs> yes, bye. You know, because in everything we do, deuces, if you don't want to pray, we okay. <laughs> at the end, when you think of it, how do you get where you are? If you're not, when we talk about gratitude, it is us saying thank you to the Lord for everything he's done. Yes. So when you are saying you don't want to talk about just, okay, um, what do you want to do? <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, 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 people like that think they've done and gotten to the places that they that they are at currently all by okay. themselves. Oh, they no. don't even they don't even pay homage to the people that literally helped them along the way, the people that they can actually see. So mm -hmm. they're definitely not paying homage to God, to Jesus, to anybody mm -hmm. because they are in the mindset that I am doing it all by myself. I can do it all by myself. I don't need anybody help. So they're not going to be around for they're that very really. reason. Mm -hmm. To let embrace God and embrace that, you know, there's there's a reason your, your, your intelligence has expended, you know, for you to know that how you're connecting with people, the people you are connecting with. And, you know, KC, you can attest to that, right? Uh, we, we, we were in a challenge. And in that challenge, the Rise Up Challenge, every single person of who showed up, actually, who were live, we had top notches people in those you know we had lisa nichols we had les mm -hmm. brown we had all these people coming in and that I was there I and was there. Oh, you were right okay good <laughs> so you know where did you not hear them say anything about giving praise and gratitude to because all of them yeah. say yeah. you know being able to say thank you god like thank you to the universe embracing what is given to you because it, it, it's not done you alone and then, yes, you find some people who think that, oh, don't talk to me about, oh, my goodness. Yes, so, Casey, you did good because certain people do not need to be in our circles, you know, and okay. we have to know it. And it, it sometimes it hurts because I know it hurts me really, really hard. It hurts me that the people I love the most are no longer in my circle after 20-something years. But I also understood that it needed to be done just so I can grow to be where I am now. That's right. Yep. That's right. You know? That's right. So why not? Sometimes we just have to say, you know, the struggle is hard. It's real, you know, to let go of the people we love. And sometimes the people we love can be mom, can be dad, can be sister, can be brother, can be anyone we love. 
but sometimes speak we have that. to let go. Speak that. You know? Speak that. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. good. We all have to eat. She said, "Don't leave. Don't leave your sis to starve." Yeah, <laughs> you know, your your our point tonight. Just what I needed to hear. You got it, sis. You got it. I was an Thank you. challenge. It was right, and I learned so much about mindset. It is. The mindset is the first thing that we need to focus on. It's how we see things in life. It's the perspective of how That's things lead to what things are now. You know, it's the growth where we want ourselves to be so we can help somebody else be at their best. If we want to launch Absolutely. that group coaching, if we want to launch that one-on-one -on -one and we meet with people, we are coaches, we are educators, we are helping people grow. So if we are not willing and open to say to ourselves that something is not, that person in my circle is not bringing me happiness. It's not bringing me happiness. So therefore, what do I do? And we have to be able to ask ourselves that question. Do we need to stay in the circle or should we pack up our bag and leave it? Yeah, we got to be real with ourselves for sure. Real with ourselves and then also real with where we're actually trying to go and not um, accept what everyone is just trying to feed to us. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. Know what you want, which is what Nadej was talking about earlier. You have to know exactly who you are so you are able to see the things that do not resonate with you, that do not sit well with you. So you're not just the person that's just taking on everything that anybody is able to tell them you're able to say you know what that actually doesn't sit well with me and although it sucks that you and i have to part ways because we've been friends for so long maybe you're, you're again the family member but it's time for me to venture out and be my true authentic self for me to be able to step yes. into who i'm truly meant to be and i cannot do that because you are dead weight sis mm -hmm. you're dead mm -hmm. weight mm -hmm. and it's okay mm. And then be able to move forward because that's the only way you're going to get ish done for you to know, for you to see, and for you to be able to validate yourself and say, you know what? It's okay. Yeah. You were yeah. not meant to walk this road with me long term. Me. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you for all of the great times that we had together. Thank you for all of the wisdom that you brought to me. Thank you for all of the laughs. Thank you for all of the encouragement that you gave me, even if it was minuscule. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But now it's time for me to go. It's time for me to do the thing that makes me happy, that's going to make me flourish and move to the next level. Mm. Thank you, Doug. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, touch it right there. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. It's time. That is time. it. No more. You know, it's, that's the part where we drop the mic. Is that it? Drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the last one was, what are the types of people a confident woman should have in her circle? It's pretty, you're going to say it again. We already touched it all, you know. <laughs> but, but you know what? For this one, yes, we, we, we listen, we did. We touched it all. But for this one, I really wanted to um, bring out the fact that don't be scared. Okay, so, so I'm going to answer it in two different ways. The first one is that Everyone in your circle needs to be at least as accomplished as you are or another level. And mm -hmm. another level needs to be above you, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the other way that I'm going to answer this question is for you, in order for you, the person that's listening, to get the most out of your circle is to show up and be the dumbest person in your circle and not be ashamed or afraid mm -hmm. to ask every question that you don't know about. Be the dumbest person in your circle so you can come out and flourish and thrive and be on that level or very close to the level to the to your circle that is teaching you. I'm yes. always listen, I'm I'm that person. I'm that why person. Why are we doing this? Why does that make sense? Why, why I'm that why person. <laughs> I'm not a white person, so I'm going to ask you every question under the sun because that's only going to help me get to the next level. And I am never, ever, ever ashamed to say, how did you do that? Can mm -hmm. you show me? Oh, do I have to pay you to do that for me? Whatever it is, because I need to 
get to the level that I'm trying to attain. Like I mentioned before, I got a lot of things going on up here. Got a lot of goals, got a lot of dreams, got a lot of aspirations. And mm -hmm. I don't know every single path. I don't know how to get to each and every one of those things that I want to get to. So if I'm the dumbest person in my circle, I'm about to be a beast. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And if, if and if I'm not the dumbest person in my circle, maybe I'm somewhere in the middle. You know, I can help some people at the bottom, some people at the top can help me. And then again, vice yes, versa. Yes. Everybody's helping everybody. We all thrive. We all living. Mm -hmm. We're all doing what we need to do. So again, you you really want to be the dumbest person in your circle. But if you're not, you totally. If you're the smartest person, and I don't remember who said this, but if you're the smartest person, you need to look for another circle. Because there's nothing that you can offer. You've you outgrown it. You've outgrown it. Yes, you've outgrown that circle. And again, yeah. you don't have to throw them away forever and mm -hmm. never talk to them again. But the majority of the time, the majority of the time, the majority of the people, excuse me, that you're going to hang out with, that you're going to thrive with, that you're going to connect with, is when you're not the smartest person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. If you are listening, did you, did you take notes? Any of you, and if you are watching the replay, remember to write hi. Remember to write down hashtag replay. Casey said, growing pains with a heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good advice. Yes. Thank you. Yes. But I got to go higher. Yes. Yes. Keep going higher. You Thank know, you. And Thank I you. love that. <laughs> and it's, you know, that's what the intention is. It's for you to be able to think it, but think it at a different level, a level that works mm -hmm. best for you. And it is, that's mm -hmm. where the confidence is built, by the way, because you've seen it at a different level. You've seen it, you know, at a higher thinking because certain people yes. really may not fit your circle. And you as well, like um, Mashawn was saying, you may not fit that circle anymore because you outgrown the circle. And when you outgrown the circle, it is time for you to look for a different circle, that kind of yeah. circle that's going to help you understand how you how to better meet your new person, how to reach yeah. that level in your business, especially expanding into your business. Who are we meeting? You know, are yes. we having conferences yes. that are conferences that's going to help us reach into the that that part in life where you know we we become mm -hmm. and we get to sit uh, across table with Oprah, you know, or mm -hmm. Tony Robbins. Mm -hmm. You're already thinking mm -hmm. that line of you know in 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 your life because that's where you want to see yourself. So we yes. have to always think at a higher level because people around us they can either bring us down or bring us up. And how right. we are using our circle is to exactly help us do that. Bring us up, be in a circle that's elevating, a circle that every time we turn around them, we know we can pray together. Yep. We know oh, listen. that yes. we can exchange <laughs> ideas. We know that there's something that we do. And then when we think about it, we laugh about it. We make notes and we take notes. And then we come back and we like, oh my God, I did make it happen. It did successfully happen. And then, you know, see that beautiful part of it and enjoy the moment and celebrate it. But remember, I always tell that whenever we are celebrating, do not celebrate forever. Celebrate. Yeah. With the mindset that, okay, I have to get back to work, you know, yeah. celebration, yeah. because sometimes <laughs> when we celebrate too long, we become like a bit lazy into the celebration and then we forget our um, focus. We, we kind of mm -hmm. deviate from that. So it's about knowing the people you get to celebrate. Celebrate does not mean we have to have a bottle of champagne, but it means that, right. wow, you know, girl, you did really good. You did excellent. And you know, what is it that you need? How can I help you? What research would you like me to do for you while you are continuing to celebrate your achievement and be there and support sis that sister and be a support system? So, oh my God, we made it to eight o'clock past eight o'clock it's really <laughs> <laughs> great <laughs> that's what we're talking about around here we get to linger around a little bit this weekend i know some of you you have things to do you have work to do but 
I really enjoyed. And thank you, Casey, for all the positive support that yes. you brought in yes. in the comments because yes they are needed they are uplifting and right now i feel mm -hmm. like that energy that you just brought into just so everybody else who gets to read you and what you wrote can say yes thank you and see it in that aspect so i really am grateful but marshawn you know i'm going to ask you that again because it's the norm for all those beautiful tips and information that you shared, unfortunately, we have to get ready to wrap up where mm -hmm. people get to connect with you if they need you. And if you have a chance later on or tomorrow, can you just write it in the same link just so anybody who's watching this replay can also see your, um, your link posted? Yes. Yes, absolutely. I'm Nadesh. So you can find me at MarshawnOlanio.com, which is my um, my page, my website. And then you can also find me on the Facebook group, which is called Dating to Marriage. Dating to Marriage. So find that there. Facebook group. And then um, you can, if for some reason you want to send me a private email because you want to talk about something else, you need some, you know, some help with something else, some coaching, what, whatever it is, I'm there willing to help you out. So it's Marshawn at MarshawnOlanio.com. And, and I'll spell that down below because, uh, <laughs> but that last name gets a lot of people. So yes, it's Marshawn at MarshawnOlanio.com. And I will put all of this down um, in the comments area like Nadesh asked me to. All right. Thank you so much for sharing. And Casey said, thank you, ladies, for an awesome challenge. Oh, yes, you are. Thank you. You, well, thank you to you as well, and it's a blessing to have you. I am grateful to have you, Marshawn, because those were powerful information that you shared, mm -hmm. and I really love the energy that was brought in this evening because it was, you know, there's something. It was not just we talk, but it's helping other people understand how important it is when we are building I don't even want to use the word building because we're not building a circle. A circle is not for us to build. A circle is created. A circle is something that just comes in, you know, by itself. You know, it's that, mm -hmm. it's that way of life. You know, when you go into, if you are a nature person, you connect with nature easily, right? Mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. what a circle mm -hmm. does. It connects with you easily. Because that person, you know, it's like build that rapport with mm -hmm. you and sees you and go, oh, my God, where have you been all of these times in my life? <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's what this is. And I really am grateful that you showed up this evening to talk about that because we all need to understand that we need that in our lives. We need to understand how important us serving others is as much as they serving us absolutely absolutely yeah. yeah but 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 also just really quickly if you realize the circle doesn't have a big beginning or an end it goes round and round and round and round and round right so there is no there, there's really no no start to your circle it just is mm -hmm. it just is mm -hmm. there's you know it's not a square, right? It's not a triangle. There are no points or anything. It's completely a circle, which mm -hmm. is where you I, you guys are uh, giving and taking, giving and taking, giving and taking. And this could be money. This could be just information. This could be time. This could be you watching their kids. This could be them watching your kids. This could be you guys taking vacation. This could be, you know what? I know that you need a mental health day. We talked the mm -hmm. other day. You wasn't feeling good. Bring the kids over. You go take a bath. You go get a massage. You do something for yourself. This is also where you guys are saying, take care of yourself, sis. Mm -hmm. You need to sleep? Take care of yourself, sis. You, you need to go get that massage? Take care of yourself, sis. You need to take a short vacation or even a long vacation if you can afford to do that. Do it. Do it. Because if you're constantly taking care of everybody else, you're leaving yourself off of your list. You have to make yourself a priority as well as show up and give to other people. Mm -hmm. You just can't give and give and give just as much as you can't just take, take, take. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It really does have to be a balance in every area, every yes. area of your life. Nailed it. Yes, nailed it. Wow. You know what, ladies? We found <laughs> <laughs> the the right way to end it. I mean, yes, you need that support system, but the same way you want people to give to you, you have to give back. You know, you cannot just take without giving back and your giving back does mm-hmm. not you don't give back with the expectations that somebody must give you in return give because it is your purpose understand how important your purpose is in life why you love why must you love why must you be mm-hmm. around people the entire week we've been taking a road trip i call it the mindset road trip because we are unleashing our self confidence in 7 days and we had Love to understand it. the mindset. We had to understand our practice. We had to understand building confidence and then go to the, um, the taking goals and put our goals first and work on our goals. Yesterday, we talked about the taking leap in life and how important le- taking a leap is in our lives because sometimes we are so afraid of it you know we are scared of facing the reality of you know hey i want to do something i've never done before but yet again we go back to thinking oh my god but i'm so scared we talked about that yesterday and then today you understand that all these things the road that we just took is also helping us to choose the people we want to have in our circle absolutely yeah so we can continue and be better and be where we need to be at the end result. Now that we tackled the circle, ladies, tomorrow we'll be talking about the beautiful part of everything that we've talked about, which is the celebration, the accomplishment from Monday through Sunday, the work that we've done, the talk that we've done, and the exercises that we've done, how they helped you build yourself to see life with a new lens and understand how important you are to yourself. Remember, when you can say it to yourself that I am important to myself, I love myself, somebody else is going to love you because they're going to understand how to love you because all you are doing is teaching them. And that's what you do in your circle is to teach yes. somebody to love you and appreciate you and be there for you because you do that. And you always have done it first for others. Now it's time for you to do it for yourself. On this, we are saying thank you to you ladies. Thank you to you, Casey, for being present and everybody else who've been watching and watching the replay. Just remember to put down hashtag replay and there's any questions or you want to have a breakthrough sessions with me, a meet and greet where we talk for 45 minutes, please click on the calendar and then we'll talk about it. I have it on the link up there so you can click on it and schedule a meeting with me until then we'll be seeing you tomorrow to conclude our challenge have a good evening everybody it was awesome i loved it oh my god thank you so much bye (laughs) bye everyone